Hello again, everybody. So I have decided, so today is the same day as the previous video. As you can tell, I got the same shirt. <laughs> but I have decided to make another video today, just because the weather is hot. And I will take advantage of that hot weather to harvest some worm castings. And you will see why. So, Let's start with some composting. And in a minute, I'll show you why with the hot weather, I will be more happy to harvest. Oh my God, look at that, full of slugs. I don't mind them in there as long as they are not here eating my plants. Um, I prefer them there, to be honest. I just don't bother them. They do whatever job they're doing. Hopefully they are doing something. And not just being a pest. So composting. Really easy to do. Well, it's easier when the bean is not that full. But I think in a week it will lose its size. The main reason is because, maybe because of Christmas and all the food that's being cooked. So there is a lot of food around, a lot of kitchen scraps. So I just want that so the lid can be closed. I actually I'm gonna add some water because today it's going to be hot, very hot. So it's actually good because also the compost it's decomposed a little a little bit faster when it's when, when there is more life. So for life to happen, there needs to be more water. And also the hot weather helps a lot for those microorganisms to, to, to do its job. But it needs to be a, in a certain range. I think it's around 60 degrees Celsius. It's the ideal temperature so the compost decompose faster and all the bad stuff dies so all the good bacteria all the good whatever is in there um, thrives at 60 degrees celsius and the rest of it dies so that's called hot composting so there is some steps to it and some requirements. Um, I don't know if they happen here on this bin. I think they do as long as the weather is hot like today and there is water and also some nitrogen and microorganisms working on it. So it's a few things to take in account, which I don't have that information at the moment. But if you go on YouTube hot, and type hot composting, you will find a lot of good information about it. In the next few videos, I may talk about that research a little bit in Google and give you more information. Ooh, crazy hose. That usually happens in the hot weather. Maybe I can close it like this. Wow. This, this is crazy. This is cool. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's stop getting distracted, but this is cool. Like, look, I can just like do this.
anyway I'll fix this in a bit and let's start with the worm castings finally so I may have to use this space here a little bit messy today I left some soil in here it should be fine that's the beauty of gardening you just you know you work with soil the soil can go back into the ground it rains and it cleans itself so it's like no much work around that cleaning part of it same as everything here it will evaporate great the only thing is this i need to take it off before getting into the house which i usually have special sandals to come in the garden so let's start with the topic of today which is worm castings so i'm gonna remove this and take it somewhere else so i show you what i do with this i need to be careful with spiders there is a crazy spider i don't know why those spiders do that but they just go around and around and i have seen a few of them in different places here in the house now they just like does anyone know what what they do anyway uh, at least, oh, I think this would be easier, but it's been there for a while. Mate. So that thing was heavy. If you if you don't if you cannot carry heavy things just be careful when you carry that and ask for help those are a lot of worm castings this is good too all of those worms are just living there they just drop from the bottom of that bin and they cannot get back up or maybe they can but they just don't try because they got plenty of good things to eat here so the theory about it is that the worms those red wiggle worms they feed onto something they feed i think onto little microbes that also work in the soil decomposing stuff and from there that becomes the worm castings so that's the theory about it and i also i think the worms do they eat the kitchen scraps I think they actually don't. As I said, it's all the microbial thing that is working, like the, the microscopic working in there. And the worms just come and eat all of those because there are too many in there. And then that becomes the worm poo. When they eat it, um, process it, becomes the worm poo. And that's the, the, the good thing about those. So... I have a tactic today to get those worms out of that bin and that's why I mentioned that I'm gonna take advantage of this hot weather to grab some worm castings. So what happens when, um, when the hot weather is just like this and the sun is bright, the, the worms don't like the brightness of the sun and they also don't like the hot weather. They prefer to be in a more chill climate, possibly tend, uh, tending to go on the cold side of things for what I have read. So today I'm going to leave this here for a bit and let the worms go down. So I don't know if you remember when I opened the bin the, that there was some worms around the bin and just doing its job but then now you cannot see any 
have a look in there and tell me if you see any worms. There is none. There is no movements. There is no anything. That's because they are going down. So how am I going to harvest this? I'll show you. gonna scrap and look this is pretty much all free of worms there, there may be some but there is not going to be as much and the longer that I live it here in the sun the, the more likely that they will go down because they want a cool place to stay in there so I'm gonna use another trick to trick them to go down. Come with me. So I'm gonna I'm going to use this. So I'm going to use this this bin. So what do worms like? They like the kitchen scraps. So I'm gonna grab some of those. I'm gonna start a new floor of worm castings. So because I am So because I'm harvesting that bean, so then I start a new one. And the new floor is going to be this one. So I want all the worms to go onto this bean. So I'll show you what happens. It's a pretty cool system in my opinion. What is this? Is that an onion? Is an onion? No. Looks like lettuce. They may like lettuce. All right, let's grab something from the bottom. Let's come here. I'm gonna grab something from here. Because I'm thinking if they like the microbes, the worms, they will prefer something that is more full of it, such as this. Look at that. I think that's pretty much ready to be used in the garden. There is a, still a lot of activity in there. So you have to be careful with, um, you have to be careful with adding this without being completely decomposed because it may have a lot of nitrogen and you know, it may have fungus and things that are not good for, for the soil. But usually if the plants are already established, like, those tomatoes that I showed you before, those tomatoes in there, I think you can add some compost as long as um, these, these don't touch the leaves and it's just sitting in the soil. So it eventually will decompose and you and, and then it will feed the soil that where the tomatoes are. So I'm gonna put this here. You can see the bean. Maybe I need more. Look, lots of nice worms here. Anyway, so the main the main thing that I want to do now the main thing that I want to do now is to lure the the worms into that bottom beam. So I'm gonna make a cool climate for them.
I can add some ice, but in this case, I'm just going to add water. I think ice will be like a good option. I have seen that on previous videos on YouTube and people use the ice. But this is great. Just gonna leave the hose working there for a bit and Let's get into it. So if you think about what is happening now, you will realize that this part here is getting hot, very hot. And the more that I leave it under, under the sun, the hotter that it will get, but from starting from here. So this part of the soil is hot the worms are gonna try to go down so the more that they go down the easier that it will be for you to remove all of these kitchen scrubs one worm two worms three worms so now I may try to grab this come with another bin them in there put all the warm castings and everything in there if there is a few worms it doesn't matter they will go into new a new place to live but the idea is to keep as many worms as you can in this in the next bin so I can scrap scratch here, surface, and all of these pretty much free of worms. I don't know if you can see anything. I don't see anything here. So pretty easy. If there is one or two, as I said, it's fine. They will find a new home. They will find a new place to live. Now I can see a few worms here. So I'm going to try to not disturb that part yet, but they probably noticing now that this is getting warm and they need to start getting down. You will see at the end how many worms it will be in the bottom. I guess if I do this, I'm just gonna do it. Try not to disturb them too much. I might kill a few, but if you come here, oh, they're not there. I was expecting more. They may be in the bottom, in the very bottom. Or maybe it's because this is finished decomposing. So there is not too many of them. Where did they go? Oh, there is a few in here. They probably, they, this, they, this is probably pretty much finished. So there is not much food for them to, to have. So that's why they live, or maybe they die too. Let's get a few of them from here. How am I gonna do this? Let's find a way. Come with me. Before 
while we wait for these to, to warm up a little bit more, so all of them start going down. So come with me, I'm gonna fix this really quick. So I'm gonna close the top, find the hose. We are going to wash the worm farm. So, all the worms get into that container that I have in the bottom and put them somewhere else. I'll try to reduce the pressure so it doesn't explode on my hand. Just before we come here. I can feel it what it wants to come up. I don't know if you can see that. If you can see, I'm going to be quick doing this and showing you. But that's pretty much clean, full of that was full of worms. Now they are in the water, and I need to save them. How I'm gonna apply this here? Um, what else? Um, somewhere here. So you can see some of them are coming out already. They will go back into the ground. They, they will find some soil. The last piece, I wanna add a, mm, there, there, and there. So they are all nice and safe. They're still moving, so they didn't drown, luckily. All right, so now that that part is done, I'm gonna wash this. So usually, just you see all that sand there i keep on cleaning that put it somewhere you can put it on the soil or put it in the compost it's all like a cycle of things of elements going to the soil going to the bin going to the worms the worms dying the worms um being born so it all rotates so now here i'm gonna keep on harvesting
great so now I can start seeing more worms here so I'm going to stop there and in a few minutes I will be harvesting more kitchen um, more worm castings from this bin cool So there is plenty of benefits of worm castings, um, especially the good nutrition that it has. It has a lot of good nutrients that are ready for plants to absorb. So once you apply it, it's really, plants can start absorb it, absorbing it straight away. And also it's released slowly. So it has good nutrition, but it's not gonna be like released straight away. It will take a while and that's good because you don't want everything to just like go away. You, just, you want things to slowly keep giving, but not over giving. So it can stay there for a while. So the soil can be fertile for a long time and things can grow properly. So another benefit is that it has some an enzyme that prevents fungus, prevents things because the enzyme just works that way. Um, something else, uh, it doesn't smell. These castings are pretty much smell free and on the internet it says that smells like like a, what was it like the the bush like a forest but to me it doesn't smell like anything to be honest maybe because they've been they have been there for a while so but you know you wouldn't mind the smell of forest next to your house or something Um, I'm trying to think about other benefit. Um, I cannot think of any anymore, but let's keep harvesting some of those worm castings. We'll close this thing. So it's a bit of a process here. Usually I go inside the house, chill for a few minutes, do whatever I have to do, and then come back and do this. But because I'm doing a video, I want to keep it entertained. And it's a one shot video, so I need to 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 keep here in this in the video, of course. So but we will find something interesting to talk about. If you look on the web, there will be plenty of information about the benefits of warm plastics. In one of the videos that I made, uh, probably four previous videos, I explained a little bit more. Um, I went on to the web and I brought my iPad and I show you the information of the benefits of warm castings. There is also some videos on my channel about warm, warm farm and warm castings. So have a look onto that one and you will find some valuable information in there. I can see some worms now, so I'm gonna stop there for a bit. This is pretty much free of bacteria, like bad bacteria, I believe, because 
I mean, this is just nature doing its job, and because of all the worms, the worms are a good sign of good soil. So, this is pretty much clean. You can always use gloves, you can use tools, so it's not a problem. You just have to find ways to, to do it if you are a bit if you don't like the, the look of the soil or thinking about warm poo, um, you can find ways to, to, to do it differently and more enjoyable. I may have to filter out this because there is a, I can see there is a few big pieces of maybe wood or like I, I saw just an avocado skin. And to be honest, I wouldn't worry about that as long as you are not using it for maybe carrots. Carrots usually don't like rough soil. They prefer like thin, fine soil so maybe for the carrots i'll try to filter out some of this soil but for the rest like if i want to add it to the tomatoes or to the pumpkins i can just like throw them as it is and actually i'm gonna do it now just to show you um, it's pretty simple and hopefully it will benefit uh, the plants i can see a lot of eggshells in there as well so that's just a little bit. You could you could add more. I'm just gonna be careful not to put it so close to the roots and spread it a, a little bit. Spread it around a little bit more. Just around the roots because it could burn the roots of the plant. So just a little bit. So the soil around it gets fitted and that and that will and the soil will feed the the pumpkins or whatever is growing around it. One, two. I don't mind adding worms to that because they will be going in the soil and then they find a new house in there. Hopefully, hopefully they don't die. Just a little bit. See anything else that I would like to add worm castings to? Maybe this place here. I'm gonna water this so all that goes down. I'll show you in a bit. So now we are just applying worm castings. Let's go here. Here. I applied already there, so it's fine. some water there already I need to get rid of the weeds on that one I don't need to add warm castings just get rid of the weeds um 
watermelons. I think these ones will benefit a lot from this. As you can see, there is a few worms in there. So all the worms that were here, I don't know if you remember, just before when I was adding all that water, they are gone. They probably went onto the soil, they find a, a place um, to, to live better. Great. So they are alive. They didn't dry, they are smart. Now add some water to a few places. Here, what are there? What are here? Nice. Here's oh. I apologize if I'm not pointing my camera well. All right, let's keep going with the job. As I said, I usually go back in the house, do some other things that I have to do. And while I wait for the worms to start going down on that bin, I just uh, do something else. But now it's the time to harvest more. Alright, I can see more worms in there. So I'm gonna stop harvesting on this part. Here, no, no worms at all. some worms now so I'm gonna stop so let's see if the worms have decided to go down from this bin to the bottom bin um, I don't see any Oh, yeah, yeah, there is a few. There, there is 
one worm, there's probably more around there. Oh, let's see. Just one. Just just one at the moment. Oh, there is more here. So they, they're moving here. Maybe from before. Maybe before I even started, they were, they were already there. Not sure. But that's a good sign. So I don't know if you can see in the bottom there. No, you can't. Don't worry. Just checking if they are like sticking out or something, trying to to go all the way down. So if you want, have a look onto these worms here. Maybe I'll get better view. And you will see how they hide slowly onto the soil. So there is two of them. Can see more on the scene. The shot. You can see one, two, three, and four. is that a one? No, the fourth one is not a one. All right, so as you can see, they are hiding already and something really crazy just happened. So, uh, this is, oh my God. Okay, I'll show you. I checked on the bottom of my foot because I was feeling something like something wet. And I don't know how that thing got in there, but it was a spider. I just stepped on it and it was inside my shoe, just here. And I just stepped on it. So that's the beauty of working in the garden without safety boots which you should always wear safety boots. And that's a good example. So my foot is a little bit full of spider organs, probably. Maybe some eggs. I don't know how that happened. And it had some eggs in there. It probably, it's probably from the bin. They just fell or something. Jesus. But anyway, that's life. So next time, maybe use safety boots. It's a good example of why you need to wear something protective. So any animals that fall around you, which you don't see because you are focusing on doing these type of things, then if you are focusing on something else, then they are going to be around you. And in this case, that spider didn't do anything wrong, didn't bite me or anything, but ended up under my feet. So next time that you do big, big tasks like this with spiders around, just be careful. Also use some clothing that if you, if you get something on it, dirt or whatever, or even spiders, you can take it off and then get into your house clean. That is in the ideal world with all the protective equipment. Uh, but sometimes, you know, I get used to it, but now I can tell that I should be careful with spiders.
anyway let's finish this video because we are coming to an end and let's just get all of it mm, I can see plenty of worms still there on the top I imagine this part here is more cold so they it takes a while for it to warm up and for the worms to start feeling the the cold eh, the warmth you can see a pretty big worm there um, Just going to disturb them a little bit. So as you can tell, there is more worms around. If I grab something here, you will see all of that movement in there. More worms there, worms there. Pretty small. They are there. So eventually when you get all the way down you will see you will see all the worms will, will start going in the bin that is down here but you need a bit of patience Uh, but you get the idea of doing it this way. So I'm just going to finish the video now Because we're gonna stay here a little bit longer and it's been already 47 minutes of video uh, It's I think it's a very good information that I just gave on this video And hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a lot of things happening around and things that I did in between so you you get to see how things work in the garden i don't mind a little bit of sun sometimes i come here in the shade and relax a little bit but yeah i'm going to finish this uh, now i hope you enjoyed it um i'll see you tomorrow tomorrow the next or the next video the next video is going to be about those those beans just harvesting them and talking a little bit about my experience with it and I'm just thinking what else I, I want to say about this if you have any questions or any comments please leave them down below so I can have a look and try to help you if I don't know the answer I'll just research it because I'm interested in learning new things and yeah, just, just write a comment. Please use the protective equipment in case you are dealing with spiders around you, like I just did, so you don't end up stepping on it. You can see all the stuff in there. I'm gonna wash it now. All right, have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next video.